Assalamu alaikum viewers our today's topic is about guest paper of chemistry for class 9th In this video we will discuss some multiple choice questions then short question and then long questions for your paper preparation that are important for your paper and maximum will come in your paper Question number one: The molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44 amu. Question number two: What the answer? Number two. The concept of orbit was used by J.J. Thomson, Rutherford, Bohr, or Planck. Correct answer is Bohr. Answer number three: The atomic radii of the elements in periodic table. Correct answer is increase from top to bottom in a group. Answer number four: The number of electrons in valence shell of halogens is seven. Answer number five. How many electrons does a triple covalent bond involve? Six. Answer number six. Which type of bond is present in H F molecule? Correct answer is polar covalent. Answer number seven. The density of ice at zero degree centigrade is zero point nine one seven gram per centimeter cube. When a saturated solution is diluted, it turns into unsaturated solution. Answer number nine. The concentrated solution of common salt in water is called brine. Answer number ten. Oxidation number of nitrogen in H and O three is plus five. Answer number eleven. The chlorine of iron is called resting. Answer number twelve. Which one of the following non-metals is lustrous? Correct answer is iodine. Now we will discuss some important short questions. Question number one: Calculate the molecular mass of HNO3. The solution is given. If you have any query, you can comment and ask from me. Question number two: How does homogeneous mixture differ from heterogeneous mixture? The mixture that have uniform composition are called homogeneous and the mixture which do not have uniform composition throughout are called heterogeneous mixture answer number 3 define element it is a substance which is made up of chemically identical atoms having same atomic number and cannot be decomposed into simple substances by chemical means as long as the electron remains in an orbit it does not emit or absorb energy when does it emit or absorb energy When an electron jump from lower orbit to higher orbit, it absorb energy, and when it jump from higher orbit to lower orbit, it radiates energy. Question number five: Write the isotope of chlorine, Cl seventeen thirty five and Cl seventeen thirty seven. Question number six: Write down the equation of the fission reaction in the nuclear reactor. The equation is as follows. Seventh question: Which type of a covalent bond is formed by nitrogen? Triple covalent bond is formed in nitrogen. Eighth question: What is the trend of electronegativity in period and why? The electronegativity increases from left to right in a period due to the increase in the atomic size, which increases the attraction for shared pair of electrons. Question number nine: Metals are good conductor of electricity. Why? Because metals are good conductor of electricity due to the presence of free electrons. Question number ten: More electronegative element can form bonds between themselves. Justify: Electronegative elements have ability to get electrons to form bonds. For example, F2 and OF2. And what do we mean by evaporation? How it is affected by surface area? Evaporation is the continuous escape of the molecules of a liquid from its surface is called evaporation and it occurs at any temperature 
and in fact is phenomena greater is the surface greater is the evaporation and vice versa how do intermolecular forces affect the boiling point of a liquid intermolecular forces play a very important role on boiling point of liquid substances having stronger intermolecular forces have high points 13 question define dynamic equilibrium at this stage the number of molecules evaporating will be equal to the number of molecules coming back to the liquid this is called dynamic equilibrium 14 question what do you mean by volume by volume percentage this is a volume in centimeter cube of the solute dissolved per 100 centimeter cube of the solution equation is as given question number 15 differentiate between saturated and unsaturated solution a solution containing maximum amount of solute is known as saturated solution and a solution with lesser amount is known as unsaturated solution question number 16 what is meant by like dissolved like like dissolved like means that the solute and solvent should have the same nature that is polar solutes are soluble in polar solvents and so number 17 define oxidation and reduction in terms of loss and gain of electrons the removal of electrons from an atom or ion is called oxidation the equation is as follows the gain of electron in any atom or ion is known as reduction the equation is as follows and so number 18 what happened at cathode in galvanic cell reduction occurs at cathode in galvanic cell Question number 19. Find out the oxidation number of Mn in KMnO4. The solution is as follows. Question number 20. Calculate oxidation number of nitrogen in, in HNO3. Process is as follows. You have any query, you can message. 21. Write two chemical properties of alkaline earth metals. They give staple. Stable carbide on heating with carbon, they give hydroids under strong condition of temperature and pressure. And so number 22. Why silver and gold are least active? Because they are not able to lose electron easily. And so number 23. On which factor does ionization energy depend? Ionization energy depends on size and nuclear charge of the atom. Small size atom with higher nuclear charge have high ionization energy. 24. What is meant by malleability and ductility of metals? Metals can be easily converted into sheets. This property is called malleability. Metals can be converted into the voids. This property is called ductility. Now we will discuss some important long questions that will come in your paper. Write any five characteristics of mixture and define molecular formula and epic formula and what's its relationship. How did Bohr prove that an atom must exist and what is an isotope? Describe the isotope of hydrogen and diagrams. What is the dipole dipole interaction? Explain with example of HCl and what is coordinate covalent bond form? Explain examples. Describe experimental verification of Charles law. Why is that is also important? What is vapor pressure and how it is affected by intermolecular forces? Discuss the electrolysis of water. Write a comprehensive note on the electrophoric reactor of metals. Define saturated solution. How it is prepared with examples? Compare the reactivity of halogens. These are some important guest paper for your paper. Thanks for watching. If you have any query regard to this, you can comment in the comment section. I will reply. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.